What are ferns? I'm Naturalist Marty. Come along on this creature feature looking for ferns. We'll figure out where you can find them, what they are, how to identify them. This creature feature goes out to my knee-high naturalist Luke from South Carolina. Here we go. You can expect to find ferns where there's nutrient-filled soils, you'd say rich soils, and it's gonna be in the shadier section of the woods. So where the canopy's thick enough that it's gonna block the sun from hitting the forest floor and it's gonna keep that soil a bit moist, that's where you'll find your ferns. So what is a fern? Well, a fern is a living thing in the group of plants It'll often have this long leaf-like structure called a frond, but they reproduce altogether different than the flowering plants. There's 315,000 different species of plants, just 10,000 of them are ferns. Something that makes them pretty unique is if that you look underneath that frond, how about we take a look under this one? If you look underneath this frond, you see all these clusters holding spores, and that's the way it reproduces. It reproduces with spores, not seeds. Identifying the species of fern that you're looking at is rather tricky. So this is the full frond. The frond is made up of pinnas. And if you look at the pinna, it has even smaller leaf-like structures called pinules. And it's the pinules that hold the secret what species we're looking at. Compare this frond to this different species here. You see how the pinules on the pinna of the whole frond are very different. They're cut in different ways if you compare them to that one. Not a lot of wildlife actually eat ferns, but there's still benefits to the ecosystem. Take a look at the old fronds and the roots underneath this fern they're helping to hold together the soil on this valley side. All right, Luke, we have 80 different species of ferns in Ohio. You have a handful down in South Carolina too. I challenge you to find two different species of ferns. Go. <laughs> 